Spear, do you think that it is going to look just the same with heroes like Tiny, Spirit Breaker, and even this Alchemist? I mean, he does have more options when it comes to the Ion Shell, or, but are they going to be as effective as ever? Uh, not really. I will say, though, the one thing for OG is they have this death combo, which I thought was unbeatable. Chen Alk. Yeah. I thought that Chen Alk cannot lose a game at this TI. Oh, Every time I saw a team had, give up, uh, it just ended. Yeah. I think a lot of people had Chen as their most banned, right? Because that hero was being shown to be so dominant. It's just right silly. Before TI. The, uh, <laughs> the core cost of the hero now is to try to find as many of the magic resistance creeps as you possibly can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can't imagine that's what uh, our creator intended. Ice Frog was like, is this really how you guys want to do this? And they're like, yes, this is, uh, this is the best way to play it. And look at all the magic damage on the side of PSG LGD. Yep. It's gonna be bro it's gonna be so good. Sand King, Shakiro, Shadow Demon. Those three heroes lay out a lot of magic damage. So for uh PSGLG, their damage is gonna have to come out from the Dragon Knight and their spin. It's gonna have to come out in heaps and loads, because they just won't be able to rely on that magic. Batting rune fight is so important. Bottom right. They are gonna be able to get to um, a push back. They'll secure the bottom two. Even as X Nova tries to stack up some Shadow Poison onto Jarex. Doesn't get the fourth stack, though. That's where the real money starts coming in. That fourth and fifth stack. Does do decent damage. I will say about Darkseer, his overall weakness comes from the fact that he doesn't pressure the safe laner anymore. Like, Ame should just free farm. Like, every safe laner says, when I see Darkseer on the other side, that's free farm. Yeah. You're going to get a. Almost all the last hits, because the animation, the attack animation of a Dark Seer is pretty bad. You should be able to get a lot of denies, because Ion Shell, especially level 1, is pretty easy to beat. And uh, we'll see how OG is going to find a way to be able to break that opportunity for Ame. And their idea is with the Spirit Breaker, he's going to be pulling around. We're going to see No Tail here, maybe die here is challenged. Just keeps on staying on top of him with the Caustic Finale. He did no not kill. expect this level one caustic. Laying out some taunts, but the dual prep is going to slow him down, and it's going to die underneath the tower. First kill of the game goes to PSG LGD. But at least it's not that first blood. We are going to need charge in from Jerex. He's collected a, uh, a nice big wave. Now Seth's going to try and pop. That's why uh, Ame and X Nova. They're going to try and chase him away from this wave, maybe even kill him here, and that's why it's going to show up, and sure enough. You can stack the waves all you want, but they're not going to let them ion shell clear. This is what you want to do against the Darkseer, this try lane. Push him out so that he can't just skip the creep wave, make it really hard for him to push the lane into you and then pull the side wave. A little play by Thompson. He actually tossed Somnus away from the creeps so he can get a deny in. Little stuff like that is what makes these two mid laners so unique. Maybe he's been one of the most dominant ones of the last few years for China, while Thompson, the newcomer to the scene, managing to win his very first TI. Some of his rather unique play bottom lane set. This Ion Shell will start getting some of the CS, but you can see Ame has already racked up six denies. Yeah, Seb right now only has five last hits. It feels like he's gotten a lot because he's been on the creep wave for so long, but uh, it's really when you hit level three and you get that level two Ion Shell that the hero starts to come back online. How do you feel about Dark Seer as an offlane player? It's not a hero that you've been playing for a while, right? Well, for me, it's like, uh, I just look at Sand King, and I feel like in a lot of ways, Sand King's the same hero, just a little bit better. You know, in, in the fact that you have the same concepts uh, with Sandstorm, of just kind of sitting in the lane. But it's a lot harder to stay out of Sandstorm than it is to be able to work around level one Ion Shell, especially. And that's why they're gonna try lane against Seb, make it hard for him to get farm and space. We talked about how if this Darkseer doesn't have a good lane, uh, this might just be a short one for OG. Yeah, and how do you push back Chalice? You have to just drop so many sentries. Well, simultaneously, he can fight you underneath the Sand King as well, which is usually an advantage that Alchemist has over the off lane. He drops the Acid Spray and just man fights you if you choose to, to try and harass him out. Because the armor difference is, is going to be too big. Top Chalice. I'm going to walk into this creep wave, contest this pull. Get a lot of these last hits, in fact. And he might even go for the next wave, cut it again. 
I think you're just going to allow this out to farm, but there's not a lot of choice in the matter. Yeah, they know that, especially with the Chen, a dual lane's just not going to do enough to shut down this Alchemist. So Chalice can work on trying to get that extra farm. Maybe he pulls it into the hard camp. Maybe he just uh, farms it up by itself. I think he's waiting for the small camps to respawn. Yeah. Toss up, trying to get that bounty rune. Or uh, power rune, rather, but it's a double damage for Jarek's bottom lane. Banana's gonna do the same. He's gonna pull the creeps into the hard camp, even pop the glyph to help him bring it down a little bit faster. Chalice with the pro strike is gonna try and take some of that CS, but Anna, especially with the skeleton spawn and everything else, thanks to Grievel's greed, he got a lot of gold off of that. Our mid lane matchup, how's that supposed to go, by the way? Tiny versus Deke? Uh, I'd imagine that both do okay because Tiny has uh, your tree grab. Which I think is so strong in laning, it's almost impossible to deny it. Yeah. But melee versus melee, I believe maybe just wins because he can now regen you. And breathe fire is so effective against uh, attack based CSers. You could see maybe really pushing that advantage he has off the regen. Is he continues to tag tops and even underneath the tower, just knowing he doesn't have to care too much. Bounty Rune's gonna spawn. Zep does manage to get uh, one of them at the bottom, so we're gonna have a 2 2 split. Not bad at all for Alex, but Chalice is going to get this big wave. He wants to try to connect it to this camp. They're and both going to connect it to the same camp. So Acid Spray versus Sand. These are dying so fast. Who's going to get the last hit on the neutrals? It looks like uh, Anna actually walked away with a fair bit. X Nova's going to show up for the first time here in a long time. The top lane trying to catch uh, No Tail. The act of pulling. Yeah, it looks like everybody's just having a good time. It's one of those weird stalemates where all the cores are sort of happy. Yeah. Maybe with the exception of Thompson in mid lane. But even his CS is not... You can work around that. And they do spot the rotation down from bottom. And this is something that Thompson does so well. And it's very unique to his playstyle is how early and how often he's going to invade that jungle area. He doesn't want to just go into the bottom lane and pressure your tower. He wants to kill you while you farm. And that's why PSG LGD choose this DK, not just because it can beat the Tiny in lane, but because it's a hero that can pressure the mid tower whenever Thompson does try and go for those rotations. Bottom lane, they do manage to kill FY with the Ion Shell combo. Jerex, stun comes out, and they will trade supports. Seth is getting a lot out of this lane. As much of a free time as Ame has had, so except they don't really have a way to kill him easily. No real hard stun aside from Ame. There's no real follow-up to that. But he's out of mana right now. This should be a death. Yeah, yeah. A little bit too greedy. Even if you did have the mana for Surge, X Nova makes sure to be there. We could have disrupted. Especially those uh, early levels of Surge. It is level 3, actually. And there's already a mail picked up by Sand King. Chalice's timing is going to be real quick. And now he's going to be left alone in lane as Anna with Chemical Rage and Acid Spray is going to start trying to deal with the stacks that have been laid out to him. Those are real nice stacks. And the timing that we're looking for on this Alchemist is anything before 12 minutes, Anna will be happy about. With this big of stacks, I imagine he's going to get there. As he's got... Uh, Got pretty lucky on that medium stack as well with the uh, wolves and satyrs. You always love to see satyrs when it comes to an alchemist. It's the perfect as well, like satyr plus like the mud golems. Oh yeah, that'd be like the ideal situation. They're gonna try and uh, kill No Tail on top lane. They really have to. Drop the veil. They do have the epicenter. They want to try and go for it, but instead, Chalice just goes for the body blocks and it looks no, like a sand storm. He's dead. That is so much damage. Yeah. Veil, four levels of the Sandstorm, you're not escaping that. And they need to be able to kill him because while the Alchemist is gone, they need to punish the yes. fact that there's no core in this lane. Take this tower. You gotta pressure all the towers right now with yeah. your PSG You need to force the Alchemist to leave the jungle, pressure his lane, make it hard for him. Because OG's already ahead of you in that timing as Seb and Jarex managed to take that bottom lane. Charge in on X Nova. They are going to be able to get the double Ion Shaw on top. Max Nova's going to disrupt one of them, yeah, especially with the match with Jarex. It is impossible for the Shadow Demon to get away from that. He should know about the ward now, but honestly, it's lasted for most of his lifetime, so. 
Archie will have gotten the full use out of it. They even have a sentry laid uh, right next to the Observer Ward that was placed out by x in the last two minutes. They just don't know it's there yet. You see this Sven, by the way? He's gotten the Midas. Yep. He wants to keep up with the timing of the Alchemist, who is rapidly approaching his own timing. That's why it's so important for Chalice to try and get these invasions, but he's been spotted in more ways than one. He does have that charge onto him that was there, but they actually managed to get the stun. Chalice trying to get away. One for strike isn't good enough. Body blocks from Seth. Disruption out. Now it's on this year. It's hard for OG to take this fight any longer. At least that chase. They're still going to try and defend their tier one. That'll buy Anna more time in top lane. Jarek's trying to pull the creep wave away, and he's going to charge out, but he's going to run into Ame, who's already pre-pepped his ulti. He does manage to get him with the charge bash, and as a result, Ame is going to miss out on the kill. The ice pack just falls a bit shot. 5-2, to two. this is about the time the teams are planning their rotations to secure bounty rooms. Let's see what OG does to try and secure at least two for this Alchemist. How LGD opt to try and defeat that. We're going to shrine up. PSG LGD can go ahead and invade on this right side, but you can see No Tails brought Thompson up here. And they might just be able to get three as a result. They chain stun on it, challenge the toss up in the air. They pick up that battery group, but now the epicenter. It could be no tail in trouble, especially with that fail. It's so much magic damage. The support does die, but for OG, they call it space and gold for Anna. Radiance now is flying out. We talked about the 12 before 12 minutes. 10 is incredibly respectable. Yeah. With 500 gold. This is still a very good timing for OG to hit. PSG LGD have not just been able to invade the jungle that often. Because they want to take mid tower try. first. And we've seen Sonnish try and take this mid tower, but every single time OG had formed a strong defense with the Radiance up. Maybe Anna, he thinks he's strong with the Temple Grange going out, but the Ice Path isn't going to be good enough to protect him. As now Sonnish being run down. What a stun! And Zombie pops out of the jungle and hits three, but still Sonnish being chased down by the Zion. Anna's Radiance way too strong right now. For everybody, the unstable concoction spotting FY for a moment. FY trying to hide the unstable concoction does explode on the alchemist. So FY will force them to chase a little bit farther, but eventually he will die. What a big win for OG. As you said, that timing was all important. He's so strong, they can't fight into him. And he also, there's a trick where if you spam toggle off the radiance while your shadow demon disrupted, yeah, yeah. you won't pop out with it. Ah, uh, did Anna manage to do that? Yeah. That actually limits the effectiveness of the ST against the Alchemist so much. I'm not sure if they fixed it. Last me and Gunner tested, it didn't. Yeah, you're, you're saying basically you don't have to do it before you get disrupted. You're saying you can actually take it off right yes. as you come out of the disruption. See the replay right here. And it looked like a really good stun, but they had already used their follow-up disable just, yeah. to uh, just to try to stop OG from coming in. And they really, they have to take this mid-tower. If PSG, LGD are going to win this game, you got to take this mid-tower. Otherwise, you will not be able to place the ward that you want to place. And that's why Anna's going to come in again. They just keep on going for it, but uh, finally the tower does fall. They don't actually lose it to a deny. But still, I mean, Somnus has been working on that for the last seven minutes. I remember that first rotation coming out from Thompson, and he immediately popped his dragon for Yeah, he's been whittling that one down. So what is that you're like, we're saying they weren't invading the jungle, trying to shut down the Alchemist because they wanted that mid tower. Now that the tower is dead, what is that afford PSG LGD? Uh, I think if you're PSG LGD, you can now force a lot of aggressive vision in this jungle area, and then you can start making smoke rates into the triangle. Yeah. I think that's the play that you want to go for. Because Anna, in turn, knows that his jungle is probably going to be warded and invaded. So he's going to be playing in the enemy jungle, but won't be able to do the same kind of aggressive pushes because the Radiant Mid Tower is still alive. Yeah, they're not out of the woods yet. OG is in a very good position. So I think this Alk is probably the strongest hero in the game. He's about to pick up his BKB, and then you're going to have an Ion Shell surged up Alchemist that comes equipped with a BKB. This has been OG's uh, signature style for a full year now, is, is their ability to be able to use certain mechanics and synergies between heroes to buff one hero up
to just a monster degree. They did it oftentimes with the damage reduction of last year with the Spectre. Now it's uh, going to be this Alchemist Radiance plus the Ion Shell plus the Surge plus the fact you've got Chen Divine Favor on your side with the Chemical Rage. Oh, you missed so many things. There's a lot of six synergies for the OG side. But they need to be able to get kills in order to get towers, and they're gonna start by killing FY in the mid lane. Chalice is gonna TP in, trying to return fire. Tops the veil, the charge coming in, and Chalice, he needs to be careful here. They do have X Nova, who's gonna be able to disrupt up the same. BKB's sand. been used. Up in the BKB, they have to go Drake on Anna, but he just doesn't do enough. Anna, he's a monster right now, and he is pulling down every single member of PSG LCD. The surge. Under the grave, and now he's gonna chase down Ame. Gets him with the unstable concoction, Ame can't get out, he's dead. The only members of ESG LTD that can survive, the ones that made their way behind the tier two tower nice and early, both X Nova and maybe Slash Somnus realized that OG's just too big already. You saw the Sven run in, Ame pops his god strength, thought he was the strongest hero in the game. Anna said, no, that is not close to true with and this his BKB and the surge. Correct me if I'm wrong, Blitz, but this looks like PSG LGD misread the timings entirely. The first time that they fought Ana, where Ame came out of the jungle, hits a three-man stun, they still couldn't win that fight. Now they try it again. Yeah, I'm not sure why they thought an Echo Saber would be the game changer. <laughs> yeah. He's got a BKB. Yeah. And this is a really quick Roshan. And Chen Alk is proving to be so strong. The Divine Favor, amplifying all your regen by 12% on a hero like Alchemist. It's absurd. Absolutely absurd. This is why this combo has not been given away in many games. Six to nine, 8,000 net worth lead for I think OG. I've already. personally seen it in the games that we've casted three times. Yeah. And uh, spoiler alert, all three times the Alk Chen combo won. That's an odd stat for you right there. I'm sure Alan could tell me better. Chalice, he's trying to deal with that regeneration factor. He does have a Spirit Vessel, but Blitz, in order to use Spirit Vessel effectively, first you have to get kills. And PSG LGD, they haven't found one in a while. They've been struggling to get charges for Chalice. If he, even if he has it though, I don't know how much that makes a difference. If he opens it up in the fight, the BKB's popped by the Alk, he just runs in anyways, doesn't really seem to care very much. Yeah, it would have to be in some sort of chain stunning opportunity. Yeah, what they really need is this DK to deal damage. Maybe his build is so greedy, going for the Hand of Midas when your Sven already has one. Uh, he has no way to initiate fights, he can't get to the back line. He doesn't really deal enough damage, so they can just ignore him. You know, he hits for 103 like a wet noodle, like Grant would say. Breathe Fire is pretty good, but they have so much regen that it all gets negated by the Chen. Maybe he just needs to farm, farm, farm. Add in another 50 damage for Anna's Alchemist, and now he's going to be even more effective in bringing down towers, but they have been split up a little bit. They're going to try and go for the bottom lane. They quickly execute X Nova. And trying to catch Somnus as well, cutting through the trees, but Jerex will make sure he cannot escape the ice path by Somnus a little bit more time. The TP coming in from Chalice as well. Can he get there in time? It's going to be the double Ion Shell burning away Somnus. The double Bracers just isn't enough protection. Topson wants more, doesn't have a toss-up for two more seconds. Chalice gonna Ame. give up on this top lane. He knows he's gotta be careful here because now Hannah is gonna come down from that high ground. And since they've already used most of their TPs, they're gonna be able to bring in one, somebody with no tail. They're gonna heal up immediately. Ami's gonna be able to cut his the way charge is coming across the map. Actually fine. Thompson has a blink dagger up in a second. Can they actually chase down Ami or is it gonna be Axe Nova? Whose life is going to be forfeited? Send back Jerex is probably going to die here as he's charged in a bit too deep. The Avalanche, unstable concoction. They don't go for the sports, they go for the cores. They're still trying to finish up Ame here with the BKB activated by Anna. No tail going down underneath the sandstorm, but it's they're climbing tier three. Die. Anna doesn't care about tier threes. He doesn't care about the tier fours even. He's willing to die. But the TP coming in from maybe Somnus. He's going to try and get the kill onto Thompson. He is taking out bit by bit. He has the spirit vessel, but he is actually going to live. The spirit poison is going to be enough. It seems now challenged. Run down by Anna. Anna is very low, but he still has that Aegis. So Somnus, he commits heavily to be able to finish him off. But now he's stuck. Now he's trapped. He's, he's actually stuck. Him. It's fucking man, and now he's going to get Oh, the no. Somnus thought he could get out again, but Thompson will deliver the finishing blow with Alpha Set for the triple kill. He walks in his own illusion. 
fights against him. PSG, LGD, there is no other way to say it. They, they are, are in this game raw. Yeah, they, they completely misread their strength. They misjudged. The fact that OG can dive into tier threes at 18 minutes into the game, the knockback from Jerax, who continues to be unafraid, slowly charging forward, and they're just gonna die for it. She is gonna wear out, but Anna is gonna be able to get the counter kill onto the Shadow Demon. But now Anna is heavily extended himself, and he does have that BKB, but if he's changed up to so much magic damage, he may actually fall here in the Kepa Rage. Plus the BKB, where's the physical damage? He's gonna get searched out. He's gonna be searching away, now he's gonna turn. He's gonna re -engage. he's gonna turn. What a man, man, he turns around and kills Shellas. Ame, they were all stunned up underneath the ice path. Another round of the Storm Hammer. Kepa Rage has worn out, but it's surged away once again. Maybe is back, but still the lack of farm. You haven't felt this Dragon Knight's impact at all. He does have more CS by like 30 on this tiny, but uh, you're feeling Thompson's presence in the game. 5, 0, and 8. Conversely, maybe with possibly the worst showing of the tournament uh, that he's had, 0, 3, and 0. Yeah. This I have not noticed this DK in this game. This is not the superstar that PSG LGD has built this squad around this performance by him. And, and you know, it's not just on him, right? It's got to be his team as a whole misreading how they were going to be able to play out this game, how they were going to be able to shut down the Alchemist. Both sides fine for control they here. They were here the fight for the bounty runes. Thompson. Ready to go. He's going to wait out the ice path. He can blink forward, toss back on a Somnus, or he can look for more. And he's going to look for more. And sure, he's going to grab Jericho. Finds both of them. them. And, and the and double charge. The line, into the charge. Into the vacuum with the wall. What a sick combo from OG. Is now they look to be able to run down even more heroes. X Nova. Let's see if the concoction will actually stun himself. But X Nova just playing a game to ring around the Rosie. But it has a deadly finish for X Nova. It's now 9 to 20. OG marching high ground in 20 minutes again. They have to deal with Chalice, who sits in the sandstorm, is going to back out the charge. Probably not going to complete. Com probably not going to complete it. Okay, okay. Takes a few shots from the fountain. No big deal. Dances it off. And they're going to take Rax 20 minutes in. LGD cannot contest them at this point. Ame has finally realized what the situation is, and it is dire. He's going to try to get his BKB just so he can fight, but it's really the damage that they lack right now. Where's that damage going to come in? They finally finish at the BKB, but I'm not sure if that's much of a game changer for PSG LGD, even if Somnus had his. That's not going to give you the damage you just blatantly need against this Alchemist, who now has an AC and is soon going to have a heart. Oh, he's got a heart? I thought he just completed the AC. Yeah, it's 20 minutes in. <laughs> 22,000 net worth, 17,000 lead oh, for boy. OG. And uh, you can make as many arguments you want about an alchemist and how he's supposed to be ahead, but no way he's supposed to be this far ahead. Yeah, 17k. Normally when we say that, we mean like 5, 6. That's okay. 17, yeah. you are behind. Chain stun, chain stun. They're going to be able to get two different stuns, but Somnus holds on to his as Thompson makes his entrance and back you back. He's going to be another with the double damage from Thompson and Anna dealing so much damage as well. Tier 2 to fall. And it's here three, surely to follow as PSG LGD, they just lack the strength to be able to deal with this any longer. Thompson's going to be able to get his entrance into X Nova. Follow up on it, Chalice, as Jarex managed to get the Nether Strike onto him. Chalice Burrow strikes away. And they're just going to call it. GG. Sven picked up his BKB, not even going to bother at this point. He understands how this game has been done in. I mean, Anna couldn't have said it better, right? With this chat wheel as they oh, look at that. Oh, look Sam at that. With the disrespect. I'm sorry, crowd. Where are you at? Excuse me? Where are you at? I don't hear you. Oh. It almost feels like the crowd's giving them a little bit extra motivation. Oh, yeah. You Dude. see, you see no tell. He says, I want all the smoke. Oh, gee. Don't give them a reason to play against you like that. They already showed it once, not, actually not once, but twice against EG. When they've got some vendettas on the line, OG shows up to play, and boy did they. In this game two, absolutely perfect, as OD and Anna said in that game. What a victory for OG, 1-1 one, one now. Yeah, you notice no booze this time. The, the crowd knows, they're like, oh no. Hey, we gotta give him. it up. You gotta give it up to uh, good performance. You can't poke the, poke the bear any longer. OG, tie the